Alright you guys, uh, never reacted to this show whatsoever. Don't even know if I'm even going to publish this. But, first season was hilarious. At the very least I'll do a review. Um, so yeah, here we go. You hit that, season two, moving out. Oh, well, well, well. Here we are again. Right, if you're just uh, now tuning in, just FYI, I'm gonna eat here's I'm what you missed. <laughs> Safe to say, season one put your boy through. However, season two is on a whole new level, fam. I'm just trying to get used to this again. again. I don't, I don't well, you better hurry up and get used to it. Look, I'm not leaving again. Like, I can honestly, I can promise you that. What'd you leave for the first time? You're up early. I'm cleaning your windows. It's like, time to get up. You can't be laying in the bed wasting a day away all day. Get up. I like my bed. Come on. Get up. Damn. You got stuff to do. What? What? Huh? what do you got to do? Get cute. I'm gonna get sexy. Cute. It's a big production. Uh-uh. Eat that bagel. You moved all the way back in here to make me eat a bagel. <laughs> I got you. I'm just cutting up some fruit. I don't know. My cousin, are you hungry? No, I couldn't impose. Impose? You know what's mine and yours. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna save my appetite until after my workout. Okay, well, suit yourself. <laughs> you and Jahan, I'm sure, both had that high good meal since I'm there. Mm. <laughs> okay, okay. What is that supposed to mean? <laughs> Don't be funny. You know that you're culinarily challenged. Oh, wow. Whatever. Babe, are you sitting to Chick fil A and waffle fries? <laughs> wow. <laughs> It doesn't even matter. At the end of the day, Mona's back, and I'm gonna make sure that my baby is nice and fat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice and fat. Mm. You know I'm nice and fat. I forgot the eggs in the car. I'll be right back. So I gotta make an omelet. Yep. And you, you can't do this. Like you can't go working out like that. You need anything before? Hey, you gonna get eggs? Nothing weird. Alright, but call me if you have any issues out there with the eggs. Okay? I'm here, that's what I'm here for. Hey, um, let me... You know what? I'm sorry. Listen, what happened happens, and there's no reason for the awkwardness between us. I'm just back, and the universe is back to normal. Wow, hold up, hold up. I gotta pause this. I got positive. I got to put my SD card in. I don't know how I uh, not have any more space on my SD card. Back in business. Let's do this. What the heck? Uh, I do wish I could find my... Anyway. You don't think you're undermining the situation just a bit? You know? What situation? Uh oh. We don't have a situation. Wow. Mom is bad. Yeah, wow. but we, I mean the whole thing, everything. But nothing. My cousin's happiness is my top favorite. Wow. Even over your own? Oh! Oh! Come on! What's these wallet. commercials? Man? Is the I know they gotta make money in our I get Dad, that. Overly but stuffed, these commercials are blowing me. <sighs> I get the door. Help yourself to something to eat.
This is wild. Dre? Nigga? What are you doing here? Dre? Hey, um, I have something to tell you. I'm not, like, gay. Gay. What do you mean you're not gay? Uh-oh. Who is this? Hi, man. I'm nice to meet you. Small. The pleasure is all mine. So this is Mona. I am. I'm Dre, Ariel's trainer. Not if you don't tell me what's going on, you're not. So you're the one that's been making my cousin very much so skinny. You were thicker. Oh, well, what I meant is I'm not like gay, gay anymore. You know, I'm like gay. Like, it's 2019, you know, like fluidity. Don't put me in a box. Like, long story short, I fed around, got drunk, and I smashed the and I just don't know anymore. You slut. Do I know her? Maybe. <laughs> um, let me follow it. Dre, Dre. Great call. What do you want to talk about, nigga? <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to start on your omelet, okay? Yeah, do that. Like do that. <laughs> nice meeting you. They're trying to holler. Nigga, what the f was that? Whatever the f I wanted to be, nigga. You got Mona? Now it's open season on Ariel, nigga. And it's beat season, boy. Do you even listen to yourself, bro? Hey, Mona fine as f though, nigga. I see why you waited, nigga. No bull. <laughs> she told you, different, man. nigga. I like, told you, bro. But you're a weenie, because you could have <laughs> both of them hoes, man. You still can and get away with it if you just, you know, maybe be scientific you... about you. You could have got away with <laughs> bro. Come on, man. Come on. What are you talking about? All right, look. I got to thank you, though, because this won't come out the closet experiment, nigga. What a blessing, bro. This is the greatest angle of all time. Like, <laughs> you just threw me in, <laughs> nigga. You might as well hold the base of my <laughs> and just, ha, <laughs> 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 I knew it. I knew you was gonna try to. F oh man, look, it was. I got caught up in a moment, but it honestly, it was an accident. Oh, an accident. Yeah. So he accidentally drove to the store, stood in line, and said, "Give me those condoms right there." Then he accidentally stuck his tongue down her mouth. Accidents happen all the time. Oopsie. I wish more accidents happened to me. Man, y'all dumb. Look, I'm just gonna tell Mona. That's what I'm doing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell Mona. You hear this, dude? Do that. See, that's what I'm talking about, man. You always on some sucker for love ass. <laughs> Under what circumstances are you obligated to snitch on your self and tell Mona? Huh? Yeah, because then you can't man. Aaron Do it. Too. We'll see what type of situation you'll be in next. Okay, whatever. Sam, what you think? I'm going to tie on this one, bro. Yo, you supposed to be my, my voice of reason, bro. I got this little devil. You my angel. Always. This is angel yeah, devil. Bro, this bro it's just, it's not a good look, man. Like, if she's willing to sweep it under the rug, so should you. So what? Y'all fooled around. You saw it. You touched her butt. But you didn't. And what they say, dog? What they say? What they don't know won't hurt. Worst advice, bro. Look. That's Mona's cousin. She deserves to know no, something. Don't do it. Don't do it. Mona's the reason why you're in this position you're in now. If she never had left, you wouldn't even got that close to Ariel. It's true. Okay, let's do this. Let's That's do this. True. Say this happens to come back in the future, right? Do what all women do. Deny it. They do it all the time. Man, I'm not gonna lie, man. If you tell Mona there's only two outcomes, bad or worse. What did you have to do to get it? I mean, 
Girl, what is she doing? Tony! I mean, can he even afford a ring like that? Doesn't he like drive for Tony. Uber? Dang. Tony! Um, Dang. No, he drives That's Lyft. Close. Okay, they pay more in LA. That is true. My bad, it's, it slipped out. No, but for real, girl, I'm happy for you. And you know, I can't wait to get to the wedding and get drunk with the rest of you bitches. Yes. I am invited, right? Nah. She can be a hostess. Tell me, you gotta. I get. Okay, look, I'm gonna need all y'all to help, okay? Yeah, Planning for this sure. wedding is not gonna turn me into no bride. Girl, we got your pants. We got Whoa. you. So. But you know what? I need all the practice that I'm supposed to do. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. What is that supposed to mean? Oh. What does that sound like? Okay, listen, for real. I know my homeboy from childhood, okay? Mm -hmm. And I know that it's only a matter of time. Before he cashes in those comedy coins, ching oh, ching yeah, ching yeah, ching yeah. ching, and buys a ring himself. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh oh. Okay, but are you sure? Like, I mean, of course, this who would not want to propose to Mona? Clearly, but how can you be sure that it's gonna be so soon? Oh, I think I hear somebody at the door, you guys. Um, I think it's my brother with the rest of the stuff. Okay. okay. Ladies, please put my cousin on notice. Yeah, we got you. We got it. <laughs> Girl, you don't know the tea? Help us. No. Help us. Girl, give her the tea. Okay, so let's. No more. I can't stand these guys in commercials. You just need to be on Netflix for real, for real. No, maybe some real. Before Mona left, mm -hmm. she found an engagement ring in Boom. Jahan's coat. Mm -hmm. yes. So you know what that means. You know what it means. Ring, 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 ring. Uh, tell me you're not surprised. <laughs> tell me you're not surprised. I mean, Girls like Mona always get what they want. Right. Isn't that nice to have long hair privilege? Come on, put her on to game, honey. Right. Yeah. Long hair privilege, girl. Oh, okay. Hey, Johan. Why is y'all saying like that? Like what? Anyway, where's Mona? She's inside with her brother. Her brother's here? Yeah, he's in there. Okay, I'm going to let y'all get back to what y'all was doing. Okay? Bye, Johan. The Them boxes are like pillows. Baby, bro, is your arms hurting for me? Oh, oh, oh good. You straight. Okay. All the boxes Thanks upstairs are good. Okay, thank you. Right. Oh my god. Sure. I need to help. Yeah, yes. no problem. Well, well, hey, baby. Well. Hey. John. Hey, baby. 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 Hey
stop. No, this ain't got to no, stop. Get my that, keys. I'm gonna take it to the hospital. Get that ball, nigga. I don't want to ever see that ball that nigga again. Next time he's gonna you up. Oh my god. Chop his ball. Oh my god, John. Get the key. That meatball. That bitch. Okay, this is why. I can't. I ain't never seen a human that big. <laughs> so have you decided to tell Mona? Oh man, part of me feels like she deserves to know. Like, what if the shoe was on the other foot? Man, you won, bro. You got Mona back, all is good in the world. That's easy to say. Oh, hey, Sam, let me call you back. Hey, you. This is bad. This is bad. This is not good. I think I'm gonna move out. I knew it. I knew it. Things are perfect. What are you talking about? It ain't perfect for her. Are they? I mean, Mona's back, and you don't really need me to sublease, and I think it's just better this way. I don't want to hinder you from making any choices you might want to make. What are you talking about? Because what are you um, talking about? Uh oh I was just telling Jahan that I think it's time that I move out. I mean, are you sure? Why? Well, I mean, you're back, and... My work here is done. My nice. work here is done. Oh. This is so considerate of you. You're literally the most like selfless person that I know. You're always thinking about everybody else. Yeah? Yeah. Never thinking about yourself. Okay, I'm gonna go handle some stuff. Yeah, well you know what? I'm just gonna go handle some stuff with you. I'll, I'm gonna go with you. Okay. Yeah. This is complicated. Girls like to go and they'll always get what they want. And I that nice kid long hair perfect. I've been giving her stuff since we were kids. I gave her my prom dress, I gave her my car when I went to college. Well, what has she given you? My cousin's happiness is my top priority. Even over your own? They did a good job with this. Never thinking about dead. yourself. Uh oh. Claws off. This might be bad. This might be bad. I don't know what she's about to do. Ripper. He need to go and just like. He might need to actually tell the truth. Because otherwise they're going to catch each other. No, bro. Hey. Oh, oh, you <laughs> thought you was in your, in your, in your room. I didn't know. <laughs> this has got to be a dream. This has got to be a stupid dream. No. I didn't know if she was. I, Don't kiss this man. Don't do that. Oh, I was just making my rounds, just checking out. <clears throat> Honestly. I'm a little ball motion. You're deciding to move out. But I get it. If you gotta do what's best for you, I get it. You know, go do that. I just want you to be happy. So. Shut up, Josh. Oh! No! Oh, no! Whoa! 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 <laughs> so yeah, I can definitely dissect this pretty well. Oh man, I'm gonna go and do it. Um, maybe I just I don't even know what I'm gonna do. Yeah, this show is crazy. This show is crazy. Um, yeah. <laughs> so this is the thing. For review purposes, I would say that this one. 
This is a long episode, but it, it didn't drop the ball at all. Like, they kept the same as that cast. They kept the humor the same. They, they kept the writing the same. They didn't miss any cue cards. I think the cinematography is actually better. And, like, just the inclusion of Mona and her brother, <laughs> it adds so many more layers to the reality of the situation. But then, at the same time, what Ariel did at the end is what she did in the beginning. You know what I'm saying? In the first season, like, you, you got this feeling that Ariel wanted Jahan. Like, it, it is... That was one of the things that's the catalyst of the show. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, at this point, she, she's kind of put her cards out there. She's been there for this man. We still don't even know why Mona left. It feels like it was tied to the brother. <clears throat> but either way, it's kind of like, she's like assessed the whole entire situation. Whether or not Jahan actually did have a ring, whether he didn't. But it's kind of like, for her, she's like, all right, well, he ain't married yet, so we're going to see. And she's just not, she's not backing down. And that's one of the things that's the interesting traits about Ariel is that she's very devious. Like, she's, she's, very, she's very much so maniacal in the way that she does stuff. And it was kind of like, that played, <laughs> it's like, imagine somebody taking, like, a pawn out, and then you got a king, the king just goes and just goes king side. Like, that's what she just did. She made a power play. And I don't know. I, that's dangerous. That's a dangerous game. Jahan might need to actually tell one of the truth because he's going to have to decide. Like, it's, it's not it's not going to be as clear cut as that. Not just that. The brothers got evidence of what he already did. So where that's going to go, I don't know. I, I am curious to see, like, Big Jaw did say at the end of the season finale, like, he got some lesbian homies that he's going to bring into the fold. I don't know if they're going to merge the lesbian homie arc along with this arc. That would be fascinating if they did. Because I don't know how they would do... How it's high... I don't know. I don't know how they would do G. Wayne's character because he's in both series. Like, I don't know how they would fuse that together. But either way, it is hilarious because Drake coming to the door he's about to go he's about to go shoot a shot then he realized he looked he's like uh you know what like I was like rolling I think they drew that scene out just a little long but I mean it was hilarious and especially when Jahan met up you know with Mona's big brother um that was hilarious like that was actually really funny but it's weird because John doesn't have these off the wall kind of like conversations with Ariel like he does with Mona. Like it's is very telling. Like, I mean, Mona has been with him the longest and like he's comfortable talking with her, but off the rip, like they they I mean not that we weren't vibing, but it, it's not the same. It's it's really not the same. It seems like Jahan's a lot more a lot more peace when it comes to Ariel. Either way I thought this was hilarious. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad that I actually got to watch it. Um, definitely needs more views. Definitely go and check it out if you can. Do know that it's very ratchet, very out there, language, all that unnecessary stuff. But I think it's a really good story. It's just long. <laughs> this needed to be on on uh, Netflix for real. For real. I hope it gets picked up on Netflix. And I think that they're talking about making a movie. So we'll see. Keep it locked. JVS Wingstop. Peace, guys.